Uh, Jeremy, uh, I'm curious, do you think, based on the evidence as presented, that this was a fair verdict? Fair, fair is a relative term. Based mm. on the evidence, correct. Based on the uh, law, correct, though there is, you know, rounds or, or pardon me, ground potentially appeal uh, in terms of the vagueness of the statute. And there's been similar uh, questions in the past. Uh, what comes to mind is in the Fifth Circuit. But it, it is a real sad state of affairs because I think it's fair to ask, would uh, someone else be charged with this crime as a relative standalone, uh, especially in the light of the fact that there was an agreement that was already in place where he would have avoided incarceration and yeah. that would have wrapped this up along with the, with the, the tax crime. So ultimately on the evidence, yes, it was fairly straightforward. This was not a complicated matter. Uh, this was not anything, anything like that we would see in a white collar case. And unlike what we were referencing just moments ago, the Trump case, and unlike what we're going to see in the tax case, it doesn't pull at your heartstrings. This is not an emotional component. People don't get upset, and you don't have a split jury over the sort of whether or not um, you know the a tax issue or a falsifying business record issues hits home. But when you have something involving drugs, we all know somebody either yeah. directly or indirectly or a family member. But if you look back at the case, facts are facts, evidence is evidence.